I'm a little more awake now, so, um, I actually made a video before this, but it turned out to be, like, 20 minutes long, so I just decided to divide it into sections, and, well, let me start with reading about books, uh, right now, like, I mean, I don't know if I, did I mention already? Well, I'm taking literature, right? So, I'm reading this book, which is, which is the anthology of, yeah, American literature, and it's, this one is the volume C one, so it's from, literature from 1865 to 1910, so we're talking about the Civil War, um, and the Reconstruction Era. I'm just educating you here. <laughs> um, it's really interesting, it has a lot of pieces, like, Mark Twain's The War Prayer, um, I've become a big fan of that little story, because, um, I wasn't really, I used to hate Mark Twain because, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I read it junior year of high school. Uh, I couldn't stand that book, probably because it would make me fall asleep. And I know, later on I kind of like read it again, I'm like, I kind of do like it. But now with this, the world prayer, like, I know not to judge Mark Twain because his writing is like amazing. Um, also, I have read, you know, stuff about Native Americans. I have read, you know, stuff about Mexican Americans coming to Texas. Um, what else? Um, oh, I read this really awesome story. It was by, I, I think most of the people who have studied psychology know about this. Sorry. Um, and it's, what's it? The Yellow Wallpaper. That was such an interesting story. It was kind of freaky, but it was interesting um, because ugh, there are just so many conclusions you can come up with with that. You know, assumptions. You know, there's that we even came up with the whole thing about her might be a lesbian. And you know, like back in the when did she write this? Yellow paper. I think like 1800. Something like that. I don't know. I I, I, can't, I don't feel like looking back. This one took forever. But um, you know, back that, back in that day, I mean, that was like a shocker. You know, of course, even in the 1950s, it would have been a shocker. Um, but yeah, we came up with that conclusion. Um, we also came up with I uh, like I also came up with the conclusion of you know, this is the start of feminism. You know. Um, because you know when she's creeping and she steps over the husband that could probably mean like a sign that you know she's gonna completely ignore him and just like step over him you know what I'm saying um, but it was really really interesting uh, about books I like the best series that I've read so far is a Twilight series or Sega should I say um, I started reading Twilight in high school, when I was still in high school, and of course, as soon as I finished reading the first book, I was like, oh my god, I love Edward, you know? I would like live forever. <laughs> um, but then, in the second book, I was just like heartbroken, and as to the, the, you know, later on, I, just start, I started liking Jacob, so many of you will kill me for saying that. I started liking Jacob, and, um, yeah, <laughs> and then on the, um, on the third book, I was just kind of sad, because Jacob couldn't, wasn't really a part of her, but then he did, or, I'm not, I'm confused right now, I, I forget, because I just remember the whole series as in one book, like, um, I, I can't remember what happens in each book, really, because I read that, like, so long ago, um, but yeah. He, and so in Eclipse, I, I still like Jacob. I like Edward too. I did, I did, but not as much as in the first book. So I like Jacob on the on the other one because he was like more, he was normal, he was easygoing, he was like human, like he had like normal feelings. Not like Edward, he was like freaky, like he was just way too perfect for me. That's what I thought, like he's too perfect and then I feel kind of inferior, like I'll be like so cautious around him or something, you know, because he's just amazingly perfect, you know. And Jacob is like a normal guy, you know. You can have a normal relationship with him. And 
and when, when they were, I think it was when they were up in the mountain and all, you know, when they cuddled and this was an eclipse when they cuddled and they, um, I'm sorry if I'm spoiling this for anyone, don't wa stop watching it because I'm just going to keep talking. Um, and like when they kissed and everything, my friend, she's like, oh my god, you know, she, he raped her and I was like, are you kidding me? I don't know, I like it. She probably hates me right now. Um, I like that part. It was like they, they did have something. Just that she she was in denial. Um, but then you know, of course, in Breaking Dawn, everything completely changed. Jacob shocked me. He really did. Um, I was just kind of like, oh, you know, it's not gonna work out anymore. And then him, you know, imprinting on Renee's name. I was just like, whoa. Yeah, um, then, you know, then I thought, you know, Edward's not so bad for Bella anymore, you know, like, he's like, he's, they make a good couple, he's a great guy, you know, kind of, um, I like that, but, uh, because before I used to get on my nerves, like, he used to be really, like, protective of her, it's like, yeah, you, you like to be protective, but not, like, overly protective, I mean, that's just me, because, I don't know. That's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's like personal feelings here. Um, but then I was like, you know what? Who cares? So, they're a good match. And I like the whole, how their relationship was and everything later on. Towards the end of the book, I was like, I like this. And, you know, their daughter and everything. I was so sad that it finished. I wanted, I wanted for it to keep going. But unfortunately, it has stopped. So, you could just imagine, I was so devastated when, when the, you know, I finished reading the book, so I, I, I really like, I read them again, like, four times after that. Um, so, yeah, that's um, my take on books. I haven't really read any other books lately, except for my literature book. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my books. I did read this book. Oh, speaking of vampires and werewolves, I went to see Underworld, um, you know, The Rise of the Lichens. Oh my god, I love that movie. Um, I just, I, I love anything to do with vampires and werewolves, way before Twilight came out, so I've always been interested in that, so. And that's it. Um, I, like I said, I will be doing stuff, like videos like this. We're just talking about like right now I'm just with books then I might do another video just me talking about music like what I listen to and you know other stuff um I'm sorry I can't do makeup right now like I'm wearing blush and you can't tell so but if you're okay with me doing makeup and not not being able to tell what I'm wearing I guess I'll do them I don't know um, I do want to keep doing masks, facial masks, um, natural home remedies, you know, stuff like that. But um, I, I just need the time and to buy the ingredients too. Because I do want to show you how to do a chocolate mask. I'm excited about that one. Um, as well as right now, also right now, I really don't want to mess with my face because I had a really bad breakout for the past couple of weeks, probably even months and I seriously would cry because I didn't know what to do, I was just devastated and um, until now it's like kind of clearing up but they, they still still have some coming back so what I do is that I just try not to freak out um, I try to forget about that and that usually helps so I, I stopped freaking out for like two days and you know some of my acne is gone and yeah I need to stop freaking out about it so I kind of want to lay off in the skincare too so um, that's what I haven't really done any. But I know Yami's gonna do the strawberry mask, and it's the same one that Bugs Beauty does. And I don't know how she's gonna be doing it, but she will post the video soon because I sent her the stuff and everything, so she can you know organize it. So um, yeah, um, I'll be talking to you soon, and I will tell you when I go live. So please stay tuned for that, okay? All right, thank you, and thanks for subscribing. Thank you, everybody, really. Um, bye.